Hey guys, welcome to the MagFed Ranch Paintball channel. And today I'm gonna to be going over the top five things that you will need to start shooting first strike rounds. But before I get into it guys, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, share and comment. All right guys, the reason for this video is twofold. One, you guys are very well aware that I am, we are, this company, you know, our channel, we're all about first strike, you know, shooting mag-fed markers, right? Don't care about round ball. We're not trying to promote that. That's not where we see the future of mag-fed uh, paintball going. We want to see mag-fed, first strike, rifle barrel, optic equipped, right? Highly, obviously accurate uh, mag-fed markers. Uh, we, uh, you know, we believe that's the, uh, the future of the sport and that's what we're trying to push, okay guys? But as with anything, you know, right now, you know, getting a mag-fed marker to shoot first strikes is not as easy as it appears. Uh, there's a lot of mag-fed uh, players out there, myself included, that has gone through this huge, long, and very expensive journey to try to be able to, you know, uh, shoot first strikes reliably and perform uh, to the level that we want it to perform uh, and we've had to go through many pitfalls guys you know different markers different systems different magazines and so the reason for this video guys is, is uh, one obviously to promote first strike shooting in our magfed markers and two uh, giving you guys as much of this information as you know we can so that way you guys don't go through the same pitfalls as a lot of us myself included have gone through in trying to get a marker first strike uh, capable, uh, reliable, and obviously perform very well, right? So some of this knowledge that we've gained, uh, pass it on to you guys, hopefully, and that'll save you time, heartache, money, you know, it's on your guys' way to shooting first strike rounds, okay, guys? And, and that's the key too, guys, is a lot of us, uh, we eventually, when you play MegFed long enough, uh, you want to start shooting first strike rounds. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure there's few players out there that don't really care about that. They just like the fact that it's mag-fed, you know, like just the whole feeding system of mag-fed. But, you know, anybody that's start, shot first strikes, anybody that's seen what first strikes are capable of, that's what you want to play. That's the style of gameplay that we all want to play. Okay, guys? And so, yeah, so this video, hopefully you guys can refer back to it. My, my goal, my hope, my dream too, is hopefully you guys can refer back to this channel as well too as a wealth of knowledge that you guys can use, take it for what it is, and hopefully it'll give you guys you know, the information that you guys need to save you guys the heartache, right? Save you guys the, the, the trouble of spending all this money and trying all these different things to be able to get a first strike capable uh, magnet marker. Okay, guys? So let's start with number one, guys. First things first is the marker itself, right? Choosing the correct platform to start out with, guys. Because guys, man, I, I shot this on other videos for you guys, you know. Um, I started out with the T68, you know, when we started getting into MagFed paintball, uh, specifically 68 caliber. You know, at first, like a lot of you, I just enjoyed the, the MagFed concept, right? Just being able to play, uh, with a marker that feeds, that you know, that operates the same way as our real steel rifles. It looked like our real steel rifles. That to me was just super cool. But the more I delved into it, and the more that I found out what the first strike round was capable of, it was just like, man, we have to be able to get our markers capable of shooting first strike rounds to get that performance and realism that you know that we want. So starting out with the right platform right guys and so for you guys here obviously as you guys know we're very big on the m17 from falcon we're very big on the t15 from obviously first strike and then of course like i said i have a tipman here too guys that although i shot a video of this guys right check out our video you know uh where i go over you know whether the tipman tipx is a good magfed platform or not it's not I would say my recommended choice as the marker to begin with if you want to shoot first strikes but it's capable with the modifications right you you, you convert it with the long range conversion kit you get the you know true feed magazines that are capable of feeding first strikes it can get to a capable 
reliable first strike uh, shooting marker, okay? But you know, our recommendation is obviously start with a platform that's already capable, already reliable, T15, M17, EM, EMF100 obviously is, is in that category as well too, guys. Um, Karma Tech Star 12, although you know price-wise we're starting to go up there, right? Uh, Die Dam, obviously once again price we're starting to go up there, but you know within that $600 price range that we talked about, guys, to get below that $1,000 price range for all your equipment, your loadout, your goggles, and everything like that, these two markers and with the EMF 100 is going to be our our, our recommended starting points. Okay, now. Real quick before I get on to number two, I still prefer, we still prefer our company, right, is the T15 and the M17 because we like the realistic look of the markers versus the AMRAP 100, okay guys? But you guys choose, you know, what's more important to you, okay? Uh, number two is gonna be magazines, right? And anytime we discuss uh, MagFed markers and specifically when you start getting into first strike rounds, okay guys? The magazine is going to be the key factor. Guys, you know, check, check out obviously my Versus magazines where I compare the T15 and the M17 magazines, uh, right? And then of course, even uh, check out the video I just shot with the TIPX magazine comparison. But the magazine is gonna be a huge factor when it comes to reliability, spring tension, magazine design, uh, magazine build quality in terms of you know are there edges uh, that can uh, that can get caught you know the first strike rounds can get caught on uh, follower design right the, the 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 style of follower whether it's like a ball style like the T15 or the more correct style like the M17 the Zeta mags or the EMF 100 magazines that's gonna add to that reliability and capability feature of the magazine, okay guys? So just make sure when you guys select the right marker now, you also pair that up with the right magazines. Now, if you guys decide to use the magazines that require modifications, or of course just has their inherent pitfalls like, like the 11 round shorty magazines for the T15, um, just be aware that you're going to run into those potential issues unless you do the modifications. Or of course, you just live with the fact that every once in a while you might get a flip, okay guys? So magazine is number two. Make sure you guys are aware of which magazines. Um, just to answer that question, like I told you guys, from my knowledge, the 18 round M17 FSR magazines are the most reliable out of the markers uh, that we prefer. Okay, guys? All right. Uh, number three is now we're going to get into more performance categories, guys. It's not going to be more about, like, reliability now and capability. It's now we're getting into more of, like, a performance category. But to us, it's still a very much needed component because with first strike rounds, our primary goal is accuracy uh, at this point, right? With the whole reason we're spending 40 cents a round or higher, right, with the match grade ammo you're looking for the best accuracy possible. So to achieve that, you're gonna need a rifle barrel, guys. There's a reason why the Karma Tech Star 12, they did all their testing, all their performance increases with, with rifle barrel. Our rifle barrels and our testing guys, we've proven it, we've shown it, we've seen it. I'll shoot a video for you guys one of these days comparing just a regular smooth bore rifle I'm uh, sorry, smooth board barrel compared to a rifle barrel. But like I said, in our testing, guys, it's been proven fact that to reduce your in groupings by, you know, inches, we're talking you know, significant, right? We need, obviously, rifle barrels uh, with, uh, uh, with our magnet markers to achieve that higher accuracy that we need, okay? All right, so that's number three, okay? Number four is going to be the optic, guys. Yes. With the iron sights, obviously, if you're just playing, you know, paintball with your goggles and you're just, you know, kind of point aiming with your markers, not using optics. Yeah, at close ranges, you're going to definitely be able to hit your target, especially with the first strikes being more accurately. It's going to follow closely more to where you're point shooting uh, your marker, right? But we don't want that, right? We, we, 
we got these markers, we're trying to shoot first strike rounds because we want the most accuracy possible. Now we want to be able to take our target out, our, you know, eliminate our opponents with the least amount of rounds possible, right? Because that's gonna ensure faster eliminations, that's going to ensure obviously a conservation of ammo because we're limited on ammo uh, compared to obviously just normal hopper feed uh, uh, gameplay, right? And so you want to be able to maximize that accuracy and the way to do that is gonna be with an optic, right? And then of course, with the optic comes zeroing the optic, taking the time to really get your zero dialed in. So now, you know, when you're aiming at 10 yards, when you're aiming at 20 yards, when you're aiming out all the way even out to 80 or 100 yards, using the different holds uh, that you train with and that you've tested with, you know that the probability, and that's the key, right, guys, is anything, is that the probability of you hitting the target is gonna be higher and with less rounds needed, right? that's gonna give you better performance. That's gonna, you know, like I said, save ammo, eliminate your target faster. You're not gonna to have to shoot and just kind of figure out where your rounds are going. You can aim, take the target out, okay guys? So yeah, pairing with the rifle barrel, you're gonna need that optic because rifle barrel comes first because you need to be able to ensure that your zero is consistent. Without the rifle barrel, you know, the first strike rounds can not be as tight with the groupings as necessary for the optic to really be maximized for that zero, okay? And then of course, lastly guys, is going to be the first strike rounds themselves. So number five is gonna be the first strike rounds. Like I told you guys in a previous video, there's a reason why we match grade our ammo. There's a reason why Karma Tech said that they you know, weighed their ammo that they tested with to ensure the highest accuracy and the highest grouping with. So to answer a lot of questions, I know there's a lot of confusion with some of our videos and just kind of some of our information that we've given out there for you guys, and we apologize for that, but no. First Strike is the only manufacturer of First Strike rounds. We don't manufacture it, guys, right? There's no other manufacturer out there as far as we know. What it is is that the First Strike rounds just has a lot of inconsistencies. You know, like I was telling you guys, in a bag of 600, right? If you buy a case of 600 rounds of first strike, I'll be honest with you guys, in our metric, like the way we test our ammo and, and inspect each one of our ammos, there's typically up to 100 rounds in each case that we deem unusable, or I guess not accurate enough, not, not up to par enough to really be relied upon to get good groupings, to get the performance that we expect from the first strike rounds. So, you know, so from a case of 600, we're already eliminating 20% of that case, okay? And then of course, from the rest, you know, the remaining 580%, you know, there's still a lot of inconsistencies that if you don't inspect each individual round, you're not gonna get the consistency uh, from each, you know, pairing from each grouping that you want to get the accuracy that you know, that you really want from these rounds, right? Like, you know, two inch groups at 20 yards, right? Or even sub two inch groups that you can get, right? With the match grade ammo, you can get sub two inch groups at 20 yards. You can get, you know, five inch groups, and that's in essence, sub 10 inch groups at 100 yards, right? You can get five inch or less groups at 80 yards with the right barrel, with the right optic, with the right match grade round. So all these things kind of build upon each other, right? The reliability, of course, and the capability of the marker first, then you start increasing the performance with the barrel, the hit probability with the optic, and then, of course, the increased probability, the accuracy, right, uh, the precision with the first strike rounds paired with those other things. Okay, guys? And so that's what we want to see. Yes, you know, you want first strike capability, but at a certain point, you're also gonna to wanna to improve upon that performance, okay, guys? So reliability and capability is not enough. You're gonna to wanna to see that increased accuracy, being able to hold a zero, being able to shoot those uh, targets at those further distances and the probability of hitting them increase at that higher percentage, okay, guys? So guys, yeah, that was the top five things that we suggest, we recommend that you guys need to look out for or do. Uh, to get your markers first strike capable, first strike ready. So guys, if you guys like that video, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, check you guys next time.
Peace.